Down under here's Dead Gum, Antoine Ivey, making a miss again, scoring a touchdown right there. Seven plays, 49 yards, took two minutes, 41 seconds, and the Lions now 14 unanswered. And all of a sudden, 14 to three, things are a little bit more comfortable right now. Defense really getting after it right there, making hard contacts all night long, big plays. There's the, there's the fumble right there. We pick it up right there on the sideline, pick up the fumble. Brian Thomas picks it up, and they give it to us. Rod Woodson. Jarred that thing loose. Rod Woodson with some vicious hits all night long. Brian Thomas heads up play. So the secondary starting to jail. In openers, we've now played 30 minutes of football. Kind of, you got to shake things off like that in the first game of the season, especially with a lot of new faces. Absolutely. I mean, how you deal with adversity is so important. I mean, Lee Chapel, who's done a great job for us, threw for over 3,000 yards last year. He comes out pressuring himself a little bit and throws couple of picks because a couple of picks but he settles down and gets the offense going the key thing is that the defense kept control of the game punting gave us field position the defense stuffed the run made the passes short and then that secondary I mean Brian Thomas Lucas Starr and Rod Woodson hitting people back in the secondary really delivering some blows so defense in control offense now settle down should lead us to a second half where we can pull away. Third down has been pretty good to us there. We were four of eight in the first half on third down conversions and something that was great coming out of this game that was a little hard in the openers a year ago. We weren't playing behind the sticks a whole lot from penalty yardage. We were playing on looking at second and eight, third and three. We had very little third and long situations this year, which is very important. That running game does that. It gives you those second and sixes, second and fours, those type of situations. Some of the penalties that we had earlier, we had two calls, plays called back because a tackle lined up in the backfield. Normally an official warns a team, don't know why we didn't get warned, but they immediately called the penalty, but it pulled back a 60-yard pass play that we would have had also. So, so far, I mean, you take the turnovers away, you take the turnovers away that we had on offense, uh, and you have a pretty solid little first half for the first game of the season. And offense really running a new offense that's different than what we were doing last year. At the half, the Lions have played two quarters and lead Central Oklahoma 14 to three. Second half highlights on the way here as the Terry Bowden Show returns in a moment. The Terry Bowden Show brought to you by Woody Anderson Ford, Leeton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Little Steve's, and by Brinks Apartments. Hey, this is Bobby White with Woody Anderson Ford. Check out our team's lineup anytime at WoodyAndersonFord.com. There's the quick to the outside Ford Mustang or the tough all-purpose power of F-150. For the passing game, we've got the all-new Ford Fiesta, passing the pumps at up to 41 miles per gallon. And everybody's all-American, the award-winning Ford Fusions. We're proud supporters of UNA football. Come see us at Woody Anderson Ford. More for less, period. These days there's still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. From the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. Lion Pride is a tradition here in the Shoals, and especially at Little Steve's. Our second generation family owned business has four locations in Florence and Muscle Shoals to serve you. We support UNA because UNA supports us. You'll never know who you'll find shopping at Little Steve's, and you'll never know who can help you out. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey Terry, this is a heck of a place to shop. You're dead gum right about that. One, two, and three bedroom rental units in the Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family owned since 1959. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Woody Anderson Ford, Leeton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, Little Steve's, and by Brink's Apartments. Welcome back to the Terry Bowden Show here. We are at halftime. Lions leading at 14-3 over the Broncos of Central Oklahoma. Coach, we're going to get into some defensive highlights to start the third. Marcus Doughton quickly makes his presence known. Well, that's what happens. Somebody's got to make a play. When you come out in a game like this, second half, 
You want to shut them down and establish yourself offensively. And that's what we do, a big interception, field position, score touchdown, and then we pull away from them. That's what you want to do. Without the turnovers in the first half, we may have had this game under control already. But we didn't have it. We had to go into halftime and really talk about what we had to do in the second half to win this game. To start the final 30 minutes, we kick it off to start the second half to Central Oklahoma. They're going to set up Sharp, and then Ethan Sharp will throw an interception. Marcus Doughton will get us the ball back. Here's their return by Caldwell. Nice tackle on the 16-yard line. We win that one, kicking good all night. Now here comes the ball again. Come back, look at this. Nice interception. Marcus Dowden makes the interception. He was a tailback for 1,600 yards in high school. You can see that running back ability at 230 pounds, 6'2", 230 pounds. A great interception. Gives us the ball down here. Now here comes Lee Chapel. He has the bootleg. He comes out here, throws to Mo Milam on the bootleg to get us down a little further. There's the run by West Holland up the middle. Lee Chapel sets back now. Nice throw again to uh, Cam, Cam Wade. They hold us to a field goal, but right off the bat, we have a turnover. We put points on the board, and right now we go up to a two-touchdown two lead, and that kind of sets the tempo for the second half. The defense established it. Here's another nice kick now uh, as they come out of, the back, out of the backfield. Here he comes. Pretty decent run. This may have been the only kick that gets outside about the 38-yard line. Most of our kickoff coverage was very, very good. Here comes the throw to the outside. A host of defenders broke that play up. 33-yard punt here. It's uh, one of those rugby end over end styles, but it sets up a huge play for the UNA offense. Stay tuned for this one. Well, here it comes. Here's Antoine Ivey hits right there, spins another, makes two guys miss, three guys miss. There's Lee Chapel with a great block leading the way. Tristan Purifoy, there he rushes his guy, knocks him around 20 yards downfield. And Antoine Ivey, 69, 70 yards for a touchdown run. You talk about a game breaker, playmaker. That was truly a play that stood out there. Great. Really just set the, set the tempo for the rest of the game. I love a one play drive. Love it. I can call <laughs> those one play drives. Give me 10 or 12 plays, a lot of penalties could happen. But we get it off now 24 to 3 in a matter of minutes in the second half. And now we've got the defense on the field playing well. Get a lot of pressure right there coming around. Good job. Forces him to make those throws. They made some nice catches. Threw it 70 times. They threw the ball, but still, uh, only one touchdown pass that came off a later turnover. Almost interception right there. Terrell Bailey almost had that ball uh, intercepted right there. Getting some good pressure up front. Uh, Tommy Westbrook, Richie Matafa, and now forcing another punt here. Janoris Jenkins wishes he could have had this one back. I well, think. we kind of were telling him. Well, no, this is not it. Right, I'm right, sorry. They were rugby kicking. One way, he would roll right, kick right. Roll left, kick left. Mo Milam here on the speed sweep. We fought, heck, heck, to get the ball back to the line of scrimmage. But it was a speed sweep. They cover the speed sweep. They cover the, the uh, screen. Uh, they really did a good job right there. Those, those two plays force us to punt. We're backed up. Force us to punt. But what do we do? We just nail one again, a deep, deep punt again. Did a great job right there. I think there was a clip on that play. They forced a punt as well. Here's the mess up you were talking about. Doris Jenkins, we, we've told him, don't let him roll, don't let him roll. No, that one rolls in the end zone. We're going to get this right because they, they, they was rugby kick every time. Lee Chapel on the on the naked, naked handoff. He, he fakes the dive and hands the ball off there with uh, Wes Holland getting it that time. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gainers there for Chapel and Holland. Yeah, there's Wes Holland running again, uh, making a nice little run there with the play. Lee coming back looking for the open man. Good protection in the pocket. Well, he scrambles around. He finds he, he finds Antoine Ivy. Not quite enough for the first down, but beginning to get a good feel now. Comfort in the end zone. They do hold us to a punt, but that's not so bad when you got Michael Schuster and Nathan Ojibwe punting for you with the way they have punted the ball. But defense starting to really get after these guys and get after the get after their team. Nice big hit by Rod Woodson right there. Forces another punt. End over end, and Janoris Jenkins so we, trying to make a move here to keep this one from rolling down to the two. Well, we finally see the one that, that was messed up. We told him to start trying to fill those. He probably should have let that go. The double pump. See the double pump by the quarterback? They faked us out completely. So they've got only a three points for the whole night, so they get a fumble on a punt. They have a double pump up and, you know, like a stop and go route, and they get ten, seven more points on the very first play. But Antoine Ivy again. A great play. You know, he's lost about 15 pounds from last year, and at about five foot six, he need to be a little bit lighter. There's the Daniel Almond from Shoals Christian Academy School. Did a great job catching that football. Antoine Ivy making another guy miss. Boy, just doing a fantastic job.